I've had a number of YouTubers curious about how I produce these animations. So I thought I'd make a video about this process. This is freehand 11. This is where I make the drawings. And on these layers over here are various other drawings. I'll click on it so you can see what I have. I can make the capacitor fill up with electrons. Uh, turn all this off. So basically, I make the layers and then I turn on and off the layers that I need for a purpose to make a particular cell. Okay. Now these have got to rotate, so I go up and click on Rotate, and I'm going to type in a minus 90, and then hit Rotate. If I click on the bottom one, it'll now rotate. Okay, so I have this to rotate and I've got the layers and when I have a particular cell the way I want it then I export it as a PSD files and here they all are for this animation. Here are all those files separately and I load all of them into this file labeled all and then I crop it to YouTube which is 1080 which is this file and we'll open this up in Photoshop Elements 14 and on the right are the layers and I'll turn those off so you can see what's happening here there's all the cells that I'm going to use. Then I change all of those to JPEG and store them in that folder JPEG YT for YouTube. And this is what I load into Premiere Elements, which is the video editor, and that's where the animation happens. This is Premiere Elements 14. I have loaded in those JPEG files, and now I'm going to grab the ones that I want to use and put them on the timeline. All I have to do is drag and drop them down. Oops, move the timeline back. There we go. Now you can see that this runs quite slowly. So I'm going to speed this up. I'm holding down the shift key and I'm going to light every one of those up. And now I'm going to go up and group these together. Oops, it fell asleep. Let me go wake that up. There we go. Now it'll group. Okay, now I'm going to use a, another tool called Time Stretch. But you can also compress it. 
So I'm going to lower the time for all of these since they're grouped together. And now watch what happens when I click OK. See, it shortened the time on all of those. Now let's run this. Okay, this is a pretty good speed to see what's going on. It's not too slow but yet it's not too fast so you miss something. Okay, let's speed this up some more. Back to our time stretch. And let's take this down to five seconds. Typing in zero five. Hit OK. Now watch. Now it's really compressed. Now it runs much faster. Okay, now I'm expanding that line. Still, it's going to run the same time, it's just that I'm expanding it so you can see what's happening better. Okay, that's pretty short, but I want to have this run uh, longer than that, but at the same speed. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to do a control V, which is a paste. And I'm going to do this a few times. Okay, lower that a little bit. Hit another paste. Okay, now we'll just run this. And now you see that it continues to run at the same speed. Of course, I could still speed this up some more or add more of these, as many as I wanted. So that's how I produce my animations, starting with freehand, then to Photoshop elements, and then to Premiere elements. Thanks for watching.